Hi, this is Zidane Tutorials and in this video, we are going to learn how to add new fonts to Adobe Photoshop. So I have got this document with a text layer in it and let me just show you. Uh, with this text, I have a lot of fonts available in Adobe Photoshop and I could scroll through all of these, hover over these options to select uh, the font I like. However, what if I want to add a new font to my Adobe Photoshop or let's say I want to explore more options for my project. Yeah. So in order to do that, you just need to go to your web browser and you need to find some uh, free download font website. I'm sure you will find hundreds of websites that are offering free uh, fonts. Uh, at the moment I'm using this one, thefont.com, d-a-f-o-n-t.com. You could use this one or any other website uh, based on your search. So uh, it, uh, there are a number of fonts available here. I could uh, search for some specific one. Uh, there are some categories here. So let's go with Halloween fonts because that's the event which is going to be okay so uh, i like this one midnight minutes okay so i will click on this button download and it will get downloaded now uh, uh, this icon uh, may appear different in your system okay so don't get worried it's just a zip file so this icon may appear different in your system so i will click on showing folder here again this might appear different you just need to right click on it and extract the files so I'm going to extract files and I would say okay once the files are extracted it will show me this folder I need to go to that folder in some websites maybe they will directly let you download the OTF format file so you need to find this uh, format open type font file so once you find it just double click on it and something like this will open up and here you will find this uh, button install just click on install and within few seconds this font is now uh, installed in my system so not only just in photoshop i could uh, now i'm able to access this font in other applications as well like microsoft office so I'll go back to my uh, Photoshop and I don't need to restart Adobe Photoshop or restart the system or something like that. Uh, this is just automatically uh, it gets synchronized. So now I will scroll down to the M section again because hopefully now I will find the midnight thing this time. So here it is. You see now I could see midnight minutes and I'll click on it and that's it uh, it is now implemented on my font my text I hope this uh, video was helpful to you do subscribe to this channel thank you have a nice day